Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with another video. Uh, this time I actually bought this really cheap, I got it for like 10 bucks. Uh, it's pretty trashed and cracked up. It's a uh, Sansa uh, Clip Sport something or other. I can't remember, they're all very similarly named. Anyway, it's uh, pretty beat up and it, it looks like maybe some water got in and it, it basically works, but the screen's a little bit scuffed up and... Um, I came across something super interesting, actually. I was just about to uh, swap the screen over. It uses the same screen as this other junk uh, clip sport that I got with a micro SD card slot on the outside. Uh, this guy, when I opened up, okay, there's a battery that's, you know, pretty usual. Let me just get some of this stuff out of the way so I can actually make some room. And there's a bit here covered with, um, looks like a conductive kind of, fabric and I peeled that open and I was really surprised what I found um it's a micro SD card and this is a 16 gigabyte player and that is a 16 gigabyte card so that's really odd I, I guess that makes sense because um SanDisk makes you know they're very well known for their their memory cards and devices so I guess that makes sense so I'm gonna actually pop that out and stick a much larger card in there and see if this will take it, if the firmware has a limit or what. Uh, but first, I'm going to desolder the battery and actually swap over the screen with the uh, better one. Um, and get back to you guys. That's really weird. I You see this sometimes uh, where a device will have like actual user replaceable memory inside, but non-accessible from the outside, which is very odd. But yeah, that's it's, it's really freaking weird. So I pretty much copied the original uh, files from the original micro SD card onto this new one. Uh, both of them are formatted FAT32, by the way. And this is just a cheap 32 gig. I think this costs like $4. So double the memory. And to get the card in and out, you actually have to push it all the way to the front. And there's a bit of room and you can slide it forwards and backwards. When you slide it backwards, it catches on this a little bit at the end there. And so uh, I guess we can just power this up. Give me one second to get a free hand. Okay, moment of truth. Uh, I haven't attached the battery, but it can power off of USB. So let's just see if this will power, if there's something special in the original card. So not booting. Put the original card back in and let's see if it'll still boot off that. So yeah boots as soon as you plug in the the uh, power cord with the original card so I wonder if there's like a hidden partition with the firmware because it doesn't do anything uh, when you insert even if it's you know has all the same files on it so I'm gonna actually try to go through and clone the card uh, to make it a one-to-one -one copy uh, so every single bit that's on here will be on the, the new card Okay, so I went through a little bit of a process, and it took about like half an hour in total, but I did get it working. So as you can see, this was the original card. So what I ended up actually doing um, is I took an image of the original card using a Win32 Disk Imager, and that's a program I use a lot for Raspberry Pi stuff for uh, cloning cards and putting... Um, you know, disk images on cards. That's exactly what it does. And it creates a one-per-one you know, per byte or per bit accurate image of the card. So the image for a 16 gigabyte card is about 16 gigabytes. And it copies everything, including, um, you know, unallocated uh, parts of the memory. And what I noticed on this card when I looked at it using uh, partition magic was there was a 117 megabyte um, unallocated partition. Well, it, it wasn't allocated at the beginning of the SD card. And I have a, a sneaking suspicion that that actually contained the the firmware, because when I co just copied, if I made um, you know a copy of the the actual partition that contained the music and everything, and I copied it over to the card, uh, the player refused to boot up with it. And I put it in the old card, and it would work again. So clearly, there was something on the card outside of the partition that contained the firmware. So I created an image, and then I imaged that to the card, and it and it booted. 
but it still said it was 16 gigabytes, clearly because the image was a 16 gigabyte image. So there was a lot of memory that wasn't, you know, part of that partition, so the player couldn't see it. All I had to do is go into the settings of the player and reformat the player, and bam, all of a sudden I have, um, let's just go in. All of a sudden I have 32 gigabytes. <laughs> So if I go to info, you'll see there it says, well, 29 gigabytes, 29 and a half, which is basically 32 formatted. And yeah, I have my songs. I had to re-put all my music back on, obviously, because I had to reformat it. But yeah, uh, just shut this off for a second and show you the back of it as proof. And I resoldered the battery clearly. But yeah, you can see the Micro Center a 32 gigabyte card in there. I don't know what the limit is for this player. From what I read, there was a software limit for the library, which is 2,000 songs. And I'm guessing there's going to be, you know, a file limit and whatnot. So you're probably not going to be able to, like, you probably could upgrade this to something ridiculous, like 128 gigabytes. But you're probably not going to get, you know, a massive amount of songs before the player just crashes or slows to a crawl. But yeah, 32 gigs, 64 gigs should work just fine. Um, I'm just going to button this back up and use it for a little while. But yeah, so far, it looks like it's working perfectly. Another interesting thing I found was on the, the top here. There's actually a spot for a microphone. Uh, but there's, I don't, yeah, there's no option that I can see in the menu for it. So I'm guessing this, they were thinking of adding that in or something. But uh, they never did, so the firmware does not support it. I could add a mic there, but without the software to do something with it, it's just going to you know, be pointless. But no, yeah, so you can upgrade the memory of these players. I was kind of peeved because a lot of I have um, a lot of their older ones, like the Clip Plus, and I have the Clip Zip, and they're really nice players, and I love the fact that they have micro SD card slots. And they've been taking it out of the newer players, and I kind of know why now, because um, they just made it internal, and you can't access it. So yeah, and they just had this little sticker covering it uh, for EMI purposes. But anyway, yeah, let me get this buttoned up. Okay, and here we are all buttoned up. Um, the waterproofing, is, even though I replaced the seal and it's mostly adhesive, it's not going to be quite as waterproof. And also, it had two corners broken off anyway, so... Um, but yeah, you can see here, go into settings, just check again, still 32 gigs, yeah. So the important takeaways are you actually have to do, at the bit level, uh, cloning the card onto the new card, and then you have to reformat in the player to recognize the memory. I don't know, I'm sure there is some sort of hard limit on how much memory you can add to this. I don't know off the top of my head what that would be, but I think it's pretty safe to stay under like 128. Should be fine. And I read a workaround. If you do have more than 2,000 files, you could always use the folder um, functionality and it will let you see every file anyway. But yeah, you can see. I can go through and just play something and it's playing. It does work. So this is one of the Sansa clips that actually has um, Bluetooth built in for um, transmission. So you can use this with wireless headphones. So that coupled with the fact that um, I now have double the memory uh, was pretty awesome, and especially since I only paid, um, it was less than $10 for this unit itself. And I get now a spare 16 gig um, uh, micro SD card out of the deal so I'll just hang on to this with the, the original firmware just in case um, I need to clone the card again or something like that but yeah the fact that it all works is kind of crazy and yeah <laughs> I'm really happy with that uh, when I first opened this I wasn't even planning on making a video I, I was just gonna fix the screen which I did replace I desoldered the old screen, which is kind of scuffed up. It has my fingerprints on it, but actually did have some scratches on the screen, and the backlight wasn't quite so even. So I uh, replaced that, desoldered the flat flex. I um, took one from a slightly older um, 
Sansa Clip Sport, and this is the old board for that. This uh, mostly works, but it has pretty bad water damage, and the uh, SD card slot is really intermittent because the contacts are kind of iffy. You can see there's a lot of like white chalky stuff all around. So this board mostly works, but not really, and it'll randomly crash, and I think the battery doesn't charge on this anyway. So that one I got for pretty cheap too, so I was able to fix this guy up and give it a uh, 32 gig upgrade. So now, yeah, if you guys have one of these players and you're interested in following along, I don't know if other models of the uh, Clip Sport have the same thing. For instance, uh, you know, this is the older model. It looks significantly different. Uh, so yeah, all I know is this one with the rubberized buttons and the Bluetooth uh, does. I'm actually planning, I might see if... Um, they have a couple other newer models of this. See if I can pick them up and do the same mod to them as well. But I know, yeah, that's really cool. I was not expecting to see a uh, SD card <laughs> slot inside uh, this guy. And number one, number two, I was not expecting on being able to uh, swap the cards relatively easily, just cloning them and reformatting and bam. Now I have uh, much more memory available to me. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys like this like really random impromptu video. Um, I wasn't like I said, I wasn't even gonna film this actually, uh, but it just started getting more and more interesting, and I started to pick up the camera so I could show you guys. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.